So guys, it's paperback or hardback. Which one is your favorite? Do let me know. Hi guys, welcome back to Authentic Worth Publishing. I do hope you're well and having an amazing day so far and a very good 2022. This is our first video of the year and I wanna take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that has constantly been supporting this journey. We have literally been so occupied with helping authors, with consultations, getting their stories ready to be publicized. We are now also on TikTok, woo! So yeah, we literally just opened that this month. So do follow us. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing. When it comes to self-publishing, it is down to you to make the book the way you want it to be. I'm also an advocate on being able to hire someone, whether it be a publisher or external hands, for example, freelancers, to help me put my book together. I wanna to talk about my first book, It's Time to Heal. It is actually behind me, but I didn't use it for the purpose of this video because I wanna talk about my two latest books. So my first book, It's Time to Heal, was published and written by myself in 2016. I didn't have any experience when it came to the entire publishing process. Thankfully, the work came out well, and I realized that all I had to do was to write my manuscript and send it over to the team that would proofread, edit it, typeset, format it, and make it into a book on my behalf. But my responsibility was being able to print out my books in bulk and basically promote them and sell them. So through that, I was able to have my first book launch in 2016. And I'm also going to link that in the description bar below as well. One of the reasons why I love self-publishing is that you have more control over your book. You're able to market it well. You're able to network with other people. You've got more freedom and there's opportunities to earn high royalties. For self-publishers, it is very important that you put in as much work as you can and you need to understand the vision as to why you're going down the self-publishing route. If it's your aim for you to have more control, you want more freedom, you want to expand and you ideally want an author profile or a website, then definitely having your book self-published by yourself or using an external small publisher that can help you to basically put the book together on your behalf, that is also very good. And that is what we do at Authentic Worth. Our passion is basically to help you as authors get your stories out there in forms of books, whether that is in hardback, paperback or ebook. And then you're able to market it effectively in the way that you know is suitable for your audience. And that's one of the joys about self-publishing because you can master it and create it as your own. So for example, in one of my previous TikTok videos for this book, I was able to go to Cambridge to promote it. And I basically just added a few snippets of the whole journey from doing my hair in braids, getting my nails done, seeing Cambridge for the first time, because I've never been there before, and promoting my book there, taking photos, having opportunities to really showcase it in different areas. And you're able to connect with people at networking events. I've had opportunities to speak about all of the books in different networking events and speaking engagements, which has really engaged with other people and has caused them to publish books. So during 2020 as well, you know, when we had the first pandemic, we were all at home and all I had was my computer and Zoom. So thankfully, I was able to network with people who are also publishers and self-published authors and those who are looking to self-publish their book. So through that, I was able to network with them. And that is the most amazing thing about self-publishing. It takes work, but if you are dedicated to it, it is worth it. The good thing about self-publishing as well is you own all the royalties from the books that have been sold, which then leads me on to traditional publishing. Now, traditional publishing is also really good for those who want to have a bigger marketing aura. And through that, I was able to do a bit more research and dig deep into traditional publishing and what it actually entails. And from what I know, Traditional publishing can take a long time. It can take up to two years for your book to be published and advertised in the market. Now, within two years, you can publish two books. Within five years, I've published five books. But waiting for a traditional publisher can take some time. But what I've really gained more is that self-publishing at this time is becoming very popular. For traditional publishing, you need to make sure that you go through a literary agent. Now, a literary agent is basically the middleman between the author and the publisher. So if I'm the literary agent, the author needs to find me 
and I need to be compelled about that author's manuscript slash storyline. I'm going to take my time to read that person's story. If it's appealing to me, I will get in contact with the publisher and say, hey, I believe I've got a great deal for you. Author XYZ wants to publish this book about XYZ. The publisher will then get in touch with the author to create a deal and therefore they need to write a proposal. And most proposals can be very long. However, if the literary agent does not feel like that author's work is great, then they would have to go through the self-publishing route. So for every rejection, there's always redirection. My experiences of getting from glory to glory book into the hands of a traditional reputable company was not the way I wanted to go. I was excited at first, but I didn't want them to rush this book. So I said, you know what? It's okay. I'll leave it and do it by myself. And I'm telling you, I do not have any regrets. Most traditional publishers also do not accept unsolicited manuscripts, meaning that they need a literary agent to accompany your work. If you send your manuscript to a traditional publisher without no agent, they will not accept it. But when you take your time to do your research, you understand what you want to publish and you also understand the needs and the expectations of that traditional publisher, you are more likely to have favour. But most times, people tend to self-publish because it's much more easier and more flexible and you're more guaranteed organic speaking engagements. Even if your book is not on billboards and posters and bus stops, you can still look at your book and say, you know what, I cannot believe I've published this book. And the reason why I showed you before about the beginning, the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing is because most traditional publishers tend to use hardback. But thankfully now, self-published authors can also use hardback as well. Whereas with paperback, this has been the most popular option for most self-published authors. Now, I really like both. But in honesty, I love this one because it's more durable and when it comes to speaking engagements and events, it sits so well on a stand. A paperback book is still good. It's much more affordable than a hardback, but both is more ideal. So for example, these both books are both in hardback and paperback. The hardback sold and the paperback sold in this one. But in all honesty, I have enjoyed both experiences and I also spoke about my experience of using Ingram Spark and also KDP for this book. Um, so I will also link the video in the description bar below. But as you can see, having this book in your hand, it can still be done via the self-publishing route. Having a paperback book in your hand can still be done via the self-publishing route. Now the cost of a hardback, it is much more expensive, especially if you're using colour. And if you want to also use the flap, I didn't have the flap this time, but I believe for my next book, I will be having a flap. So when you think about it, as I said, this is how it looks and it's just durable, it's sturdy. Obviously this one's more flexible and it's better because it can fit in your bag very well. It really is down to you. Both traditional publishing and self-publishing can do either paperback and hardback. The good thing about self-publishing as well is that you have more time to master it and make it your own. You can make it unique and you can tailor it to yourself. And the good thing as well is that you can also have your logo on the back of your book when you self-publish, which is amazing, particularly for those who have businesses on the side and want to publish a book. Whereas with traditional publishers, they tend to have their logo right here, like Penguin Random House, HarperCollins, Simon & Schuster, etc. So both ways are great, but it just depends on you. Prices also vary in terms of self-publishing, depending on the package that you want. For traditional publishing, they're more likely to sign a contract with you, but you still need to make sure you read the terms and conditions and also know how much royalties that you're getting back as well. So I really hope that this video helped in terms of just breaking down the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing, because we do believe that stories are valuable and they are very needed for the community that we are in right now. And people need to read. This is the season to read, read, read. I've got so many books behind me that I'm looking so forward to reading. To add on that, we will also be running in-house events physically and that will be happening in due course. So I will be notifying you on that very soon. I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you and I'm really wishing you all the best 
for your book journeys this year in 2022. It's going to be a phenomenal year for you and it's going to be a phenomenal year for authentic worth as well, where we bring worth back into you through storytelling and book writing. We look forward to seeing you in our upcoming events, which we will keep you updated. For any other questions, you know what to do. Leave them down in the comment section and we will surely get back to you on them. In the meantime, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.